let's get spooky with this great film. Not one you rewatch, but it's still a great watch. Don't spoil anything here, but it's a spooky X rental. Ooh. And on the flip side, got this remake, which I left out of my screen style covers because this one does it. Showing the young cast, this selling point. But it's a fun little film. And with Gregory, uh, Jeffrey Rush and Van Pekke Janssen, I believe. Having absolute fun. Now you've got this, What Lies Beneath. Include the making of. Harrison Ford and Michelle Pfeiffer. And a ghost story, written by, what is it? Yeah, story by Clark Gregg, screenplay by Clark right? Or Agent Coulson, other people. It's a good thriller, made in between Castaway when Robert Zemeckis was waiting for Tom Hanks to lose all his weight. And then he got poltergeist. And I prefer the one with the Caroline on the TV over this one. But can't complain. <laughs> I don't know if she's doing that's like a sexy pose against a doll right there. It's one of the old tapes. They never say the year. The film's 82, oh, 89. Not as old as I thought. And then you got The Ring. Japanese a remake of the Japanese film. Before you die, you see The Ring. Hmm. Seven days later, you die. But one of the best Japanese remakes. And sadly, this Sam Raimi film, which was a totally different course for him, and horror wise, to his kinetic films. And it's got a great cast and everything, but it just doesn't really go anywhere. Now, this was quite a chiller. It looks like a cheesy B film, but once it gets going, it's quite frightening. And finally, White Noise with Michael Keaton doing a horror. It's not a horror, it's a supernatural thriller, I should say. But uh, yeah, I watched this again recently. And didn't get much from it, but, but there we go. Thank you for watching. Here end of the lesson.